Hello everybody, this is your friend Vincent E. Brown, and this is Black by Color Only. Uh, I'm a little tired today, uh, had to work and, you know, of course, you know, uh, pay the bills and, you know, put food on the table and things of that sort. Uh, I wanted to uh, chime in, well not chime in, but I wanted to comment uh, video-wise on a person uh, I've been having a debate with on my channel. Uh, his name is Zen as Law. I think that's how it's pronounced. If it, if I mispronounce it, uh, you have all my apologies. But um, I did a video about a month ago about uh, Melissa Harris Perry talking about uh, Rand Paul doesn't need to, you know, educate, doesn't need to uh, tell black people about their about their history. And Zena's Law, he, uh, well, first, he sent me, uh, about a week ago, he sent me this message. He said, Dear Brother, I would like you to check out a video, Dr. Cindy Trim, Satanism Exposed, one of two by, I'm, I'm not even going to go into the name, and it's dated uh, 5 2012. Uh, I already know that Cindy Trim is not a true woman of God. I already know that she, you know, uh, she does a lot of uh, stuff for T.D. Jakes, who is not a true man of God. I already know that, so, you know. But uh, he went on to say something else, if I can pull it up right quick. And uh, I told him I already know that Cindy Trim is a false prophetess. No disagreement there, you know, because uh, he, he told me, he said, I thought you as a Christian would be concerned that a prophetess might actually be a secret worshiper of Satan and expressing satanic worship explicitly and implicitly in a church to deceive other Christians. I already know that. To your video, please stop the personal references to the black African sister's hair. Uh, first of all, Melissa Harris Perry is not African. She was born here in America, okay? And people might think you're being black African self-hatred. Been there, done that. You know, people have told me that I'm in self-hatred uh, because I criticize my fellow black people. I don't know where they get that from, uh, as if black people are not supposed to be criticized by their own. Um, finally, the Bible declares that liberal is a good thing. Isaiah 32, 5 through 7. And he says something here that doesn't make any sense. Today, anti-black rights are Southern Republicans' blessings in Christ and his law. I don't know what he means by that. But, uh, first of all, uh, when we talk about liberal, don't, don't even bring the Bible up into it because what the Bible talks about being liberal and what we talk about liberal today are two different things. Liberal is supposed to be accepting of everything, you know, accepting of everyone, you know, no matter what their race, creed, and whatever. But what we have today in the liberal movement, they call themselves progressives, I don't know why, but uh, what we have in the liberal movement today is they're liberal about everything that agrees with their point of view. And if you don't agree with their point of view, something's wrong with you, you're on the fringe, you're stupid, you know, yada, yada, yada. That's why they call conservative black people uh, Uncle Tom's and sellouts and things like that and that they really knew what an Uncle Tom was They will find out it's not that insulting and they will stop using it as an insult but uh, I said uh, uh, And I, I told them I said finally what the Bible considers liberal and what we call liberalism today are absolutely mutually exclusive they are you know, uh, liberals support abortion. You're not going to tell me that God supports abortion. In the Bible, it says homosexuality is a sin. Liberals support that. And by the way, liberal, the liberals are the base of the Democrat Party who booed God at their national convention last year three times. So don't tell me that these people are for God and it, it, because they're not. Okay, so I finished with that. And um, he told me, 
Did you know that sarcasm can be a form of hate speech? Now, I'm a sarcastic person. That's just how I am. That's how I roll. And I told him, uh, I don't care what people think about me. It's a, you know, he was saying that when I, I said, uh, Melissa Harris Perry's uh, extensions might be uh, braided a little bit too tight. You know, I was being sarcastic. And he was saying, you know, don't criticize the black African sister. First of all, she's not African and she's not black because she has a white parent and a black parent. So don't, you know, she's really not, she's not really black. But uh, he said, did you know that sarcasm can be a form of hate speech? Okay, you may not care what people think. I will ask you directly. Do you as a black person prefer a black African woman with a curly natural hairstyle or with a straight unnatural white European hairstyle? I don't know what in the world he's talking about right here. Uh, I am married to an African woman. She's from Liberia. And uh, she just recently got her hair done al natural. And I love it. Uh, yes, she has worn the extension. She has worn wigs. I have no problem with that. I don't see why people have a problem with something so petty. I really don't. Um, I don't, I didn't judge my wife on how her hair looked or anything like that, you know, and, you know, one day I saw her doing her hair and, uh, she was doing, uh, the, her, her natural hair. And I said, you know, honey, won't you try it out natural? Maybe that, you know, cause I think you look good out natural. I have no problem with her doing extensions or anything like that. None at all. I have I have no problem with that. But I said, you know, just give it a try, you know. And she did, and I think it looks good. Uh, let's see. Do you love black African people? I love all people. See, they they every time you criticize a black person, they always saying you're in self hate. Why do you all do this? I don't hate black people. I'm black myself. Look at me. I am black. Why in the world would I hate hate black African people? I'm not African. But I love all people. I mean, this has nothing to do with black hatred. You know, I don't know why y'all go off on this. I, I don't get it. It says, what is your definition of a liberal? I just told you. Finally, do you believe that the base of the anti-black rights are in the Southern Republicans that got the Voting Rights Act thrown out? Okay, uh, y'all think that's racist and everything, but uh, the Voting Rights Act is irrelevant today. Blacks are not being disenfranchised. Back then, they were. But today, it's irrelevant. We don't, we don't need the Voting Rights Act anymore because no one's being disenfranchised today. You know, so that's all I had to say about that. But, you know, I, the, the thing that gets me a lot is, do you love black African people? Yes, I'm married to one. I don't hate African people. Not at all. I'm an American. I was born in Roanoke, Virginia, but I know my... my uh, ancestors were African. No, I, I don't hate black African people. And I wish you all would stop saying that. And about the sarcasm thing, you know, saying that it can be a form of hate speech. You know, the very ones that say you shouldn't be talking like that and everything, they're the very ones who criticize and use sarcasm. They're the very ones and they feel like, you know, we should be the ones who use sarcasm. But those of you, you conservatives, you shouldn't be using sarcasm because it's a form of hate speech. You know, and let me tell you something. Sometimes you're going to say things that are going to offend people. Uh, our Constitution says freedom of speech, but it doesn't say freedom not to be offended. You're going to offend people sometimes. Sometimes, you know, sometimes when you tell the truth, it offends people. But am I supposed to keep quiet and, you know, just just say, well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to speak the truth because it might offend somebody. And it's true what Rush Limbaugh said. He said that the, the truth is hate speech to those who don't want to follow it. You know, so I don't care. Now, maybe five years ago and you told me that I might have backed down a little bit. But now I'm, I'm at the point where I just don't care what people think. I don't believe in being politically correct. I believe in telling the truth. That's all I believe in. And I don't care about what color your skin is. I don't care if you're white, black, yellow, brown, red. I don't care what your skin color is. All I'm about is the truth. And I don't get hung up on this African thing, you know. So that, that, that's all I got to say. I'm signing off. This is Vincent E. Brown. And on the, I'll see you on the rebound next time. I got my stuff messed up. Messed up. But anyway.